Hello everybody, it's me, ProgamCuber17, and today I'm going to be doing part 2 on the 5x5 Rubik's Cube. So, you have to know how to do edge pairing on a 4x4 to do this, because it's mostly just like a 4x4. So, now let's get to it. Before we start, if you have not yet, make, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, now let's start it off. So, we know for the centers, this is the centerpiece. For edge pairing, because it's a 5x5, five five, there's a middle piece. So, this is going to be the center. That We're going to call it a center for a middle piece. Edge pairing. So, now let's start it off. Let's just start off with this one. It's a blue and white. And there's a blue and white right there. So, if we put it on the opposite side like this... And then we need to put it over like this so we can insert it. And if we bring down this and we match them up, we push it away, bring in an empty spot and put it back up. I just want to do this and we want to make like pairs like this for the whole time until we get down to the last few pairs. And after, say we're done with all of our pairs. And after that, it'll be like these two blocks, which are matched up. Is one block now so it'd be just like a four by four two blocks would equal one of these blocks and one block would just equal one more match them up and if you do everything else it'll come down to the last two edge edges what I said before was a little bit confusing this is what I meant when both of these are paired up we want to take it as one piece like this and we want the other piece to equal another piece. So after we get it like that, we insert this last piece in like usual. And when we have pe when we have a case like this where we like, well, these two are matched up and this isn't, we want to put the two matched up pairs. We want to find a pair where we can line up the two matched up with the other two matched up in the center. So when we turn it back and we turn it up, these two don't get messed up. So after you solved every other edge piece and you have the last two edge pieces, you can get a case when there's two matched up and the different ones are on both sides. If you get a case like that, you want to hold them so the two matched up are like this and the two messed up are right there. Then you want to put it right there and you want to do the same flipping algorithm that we did on 4x4. Four four, so like that. And now you can see that the yellow edge solved. But there's a 50% chance that this edge would solve. And there's a 50% chance that the middle piece would be flipped. In this case, the middle piece was flipped. If it wasn't flipped, you could just move on to 3x3 stage. But in this case, it was flipped. So, if you remember from 4x4, the OLL, the OLL parity algorithm, that flips a piece. So, we want to flip this. So, we want to do the OLL out parity algorithm so we want to then we after we do that we want to go we have to look at the bottom and then we want to bring down the left side and then after we bring up the left side we want to bring down all three layers of the right side then turn the top row bring it up and we would have every centerpiece still solved Plus, this middle piece would be flipped. So now, if you look, all of our edge pieces are properly solved. So, that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!